we associate culture now with our way of life, like the common definition no, found in uh, online sources. Uh, culture is also defined as our set of customs, no, traditions and values of a society or community such as an ethnic group or a nation no? for uh, my experience i started uh, visiting provinces in the philippines no i would rather visit uh, different places in the philippines than go to other countries and usually no i visit other provinces during their fiestas or festivals no so during the month of uh, January, you know, we had uh, several of them. Uh, we had Sinulog, Dinagyang, you know, and even the Feast of the Black Nazarene, yung Fiesta ng Santo Nino, and even uh, Fiesta ng San Andres. Okay, so from those visits, you know, uh, during festivals, we're oriented to, we're introduced to their dances, to their food, and other products no, from their uh, place no, or from their province. Okay? So culture is also no, an umbrella term no, which encompasses social behavior, no? behavior, attitudes, norms, no, which we consider acceptable in a society. Okay? So some of the manifestations of culture are knowledge, beliefs, arts, laws, customs, capabilities and habits no, of the individuals in these groups. We need to know the visual manifestations no, or the explicit manifestations of culture. Okay. Uh, we also define culture no, as patterns of learned and shared behavior and beliefs of a particular social, ethnic, or age group. Also, uh, culture is common no, in uh, communication subjects because uh, for communication to take place, we should have shared meaning. No? For example, in this case, uh, if we all can understand English, no, we'll be able to understand each other as we go along our discussion. So if ever I will mention a, a Filipino term, no. I need to put it in context. Okay, so um, in communication, no, we need to be familiar with the language of a particular group or a particular nation, no, for a, for us to be able to understand each other. So in this subject, we will focus more on film as a medium of communication rather than what you're familiar with no, in your other subjects, which is film as an art form. No? Kasi uh, in your previous subjects, maybe you have analyzed films no, based on the different elements, uh, in particular, cinematography, production design, screenplay, musical score, editing, and even the, the sound design. But in uh, this subject, in this course, no, uh, guide questions would be provided which are more sp specifically designed no, to understand uh, the cultural value of a work of art. Okay? So other definitions of films, no, I just quoted them no, because uh, these are common definitions. So uh, the complex whole of collective human beliefs with a structured stage of civilization that can be specific to a nation or time period. So, there are common uh, terms no, in, the, in these definitions. And lastly, no, cumulative deposit of knowledge, experience, beliefs, values, attitudes, meanings, and the like. So let's analyze no, what are common to these definitions. No? One, of course, as I have mentioned earlier, a culture no, should be composed of shared meaning no so it means it can be language no something which is shared um, food ba? something common no to a particular group okay and then we'll also 
be able no to learn culture no so if you came from another place or another province no aside from Manila okay, can I ask you your place of birth or origin can you answer via chat because I'll be using this one for your uh, first exercise no which is in relation to the short film Anino Are you staying here in Manila? So, meron Laguna, Bulacan, Leyte, Samar, no? the Eastern Visayas region, uh, Zamboanga, Pangasinan. Okay. So, for example, if you're uh, Pangasinan, no? uh, you have Pangasinense as your language. But because of the proximity of Pangasinan to Ilocos, no other um, residents of uh, Pangasinan can also speak in Ilocano. Okay. Uh, next week we'll be we'll be discussing um, the Kamanava region. No, I invited uh, one of my friends, no Richard Legaspi, and I'll be uh, providing you links to. At least three of his short films, so you'll be able to familiarize yourself, no, uh, in terms of films shot in the Caloocan, Malabon, Navotas, and uh, Valenzuela, no, na, na cities. So we'll start our discussion with Manila, the city, no, not uh, Metro Manila, the region. Because Binild is located in Manila, no, in particular uh, Pablo Ocampo Street, no, and it's something common to us, okay. And when you came from other places, uh, the first time you step into uh, the main building, no, uh, you'll notice, no, that most students communicate via sign language no so it's different no as compared to your experience in uh the school of design and arts or even in shrimp at shrimp no uh at hotel Benilde, no so uh since there are courses designed for teaching fsl or filipino sign language and uh, a lot of uh, deaf students, in this case, uh, we capitalized D no, for deaf. Uh, uh, they, their studies are more mainly concentrated no, in the main building. So maybe it came as a cultural shock for you, no? uh, seeing students uh, communicating via sign language and later on when you transferred no i'm not sure have you been to the school of design and arts second year na kayo, di ba? 119 okay so when you transferred to the school of design and arts you notice a different culture no first you'll find out that a lot of students no, with colored hair. <laughs> and then you'll also notice long lines no? uh, near elevators. So you have five elevators no, side by side as compared to the main building at Vito Cruz staff. No, you only have one elevator no, in a particular area of that building. Okay? When you go to Shrim, uh, you have have you gone to Shrim? Parang three three elevators, no, side by side. Okay, so uh, pila or line is mostly associated to the School of Design and Arts rather than the main building or Hotel Binil or even Shrim. Okay, so. For you to be able to adjust to the, your surroundings, you need to learn this culture. And culture adapts no, to a particular uh, generation. And fortunately for film, culture is also represented by symbols. No? In one of our future lessons, 
we'll talk about the different national symbols, no? Uh, the sagisag, okay? The different symbols uh, representing the Philippines, okay? So since symbols are visual in nature and film is a visual medium, it is um, it would be easier for you, no, to show culture in your films. Film is also relative, no? So we'll discuss uh, some issues pertaining to culture, no, next month, March, uh, when we talk about uh, ethnocentrism or looking at one's culture as better than the rest or the best, no, as what uh, the, the Germans did during Hitler's time, no, yung, yung, they're looking at Aryan race as the supreme race, okay? And we'll also talk about cultural uh, relativity and uh, cultural determinism or and technological determinism. No, so as what we have discussed during, yeah, thank you. As what we have discussed during the first meeting, no, we don't consider one's culture as bad or good, or as wrong or right. Okay. We should consider culture as relative. So yung example ko before is in the Cordillera region, no, as part of their rituals, they kill dogs and they eat dogs. Okay? But we know that uh, that practice is illegal, no, in at least in the country. Okay? In other countries, it's still legal. No? But in our case, in the Cordillera region, it's part of their tradition. But they don't eat dogs no as uh, everyday food no they just eat dogs as part of a particular uh, tradition no or, or a ritual okay so as what we have discussed earlier no it's specific to a group of people or time period no so if i'll say uh, magandang umaga as good morning no in ilocano it's naimbag uh, aldaw tama ba yan is it right so good morning magandang umaga naimbag aldaw uh, in visaya how do you say it okay so maayong buntag okay so when you say thank you very much you say maraming salamat in tagalog no you say salamat kaayo tama ba salamat kaayo in Bisaya. Okay. Is it pronounced Bisaya? Kasi Tagalogs would pronounce it Bisaya eh. No? And then I noticed some of my friends uh, pronounce it as Bisaya rather than Bisaya. Tama ba yan? Yan. Tama. Bisaya. Okay. And then let's look at some of the other places of origin. No? So Wendy is from China. Uh, Ezer is from Rizal. Rafael is from Rizal. Aparanaque, Mandaluyong, no? San Pablo, yan, Zamboanga City, Batangas. Okay, so if uh, there are specific dialects then no? uh, related to a particular language. For example, we have a different Tagalog in Metro Manila. And they have a different Tagalog no, language in the Bulacan area. Okay? They have a different uh, Kapampangan in Pampanga and a different Kapampangan in Tarlac. No? So, since Tarlac is near Pampanga and Tarlac is also near the Ilocos region, no? some residents of Tarlac speak Ilocano and some residents which are actually nearer Pampanga speak uh, Kapampangan. Is it Kapampangan or Pampango? Who's more familiar with uh, with Pampanga? Okay, so I would like to uh, show culture no, via the blind man and the elephant. Are you familiar with this one? It's a poem no, by John Godfrey Sachs. Uh, so you have six blind men of Hindustan and their located no they're in front of an elephant no the first blind man is near the the body okay so the body of 
the first blind man is near the body you know, of the elephant. So he guessed that what's in front of him is a wall. Okay? And then the second one is holding the task no? or the horn, no? if you're not familiar with the task. And he described what's in front of him as a spear. spear. Okay? And then the third one is near the trunk. Ito, uh, the one in the green shirt. Uh, and he described what he's touching, you know, what he's feeling, since he can't see it, he's blind, as a snake. And then the fourth one uh, described the knee of the elephant. Okay? And he associated with it with a tree. The one who's holding the ear, this one, uh, with the band-aid on his head, you know, uh, described it as a fan. Okay? Uh, pie. And then the last one holding the tail described the elephant as a rope. No? So what is it trying to tell us? That culture is relative no? uh, in accordance with where we are located. And this is also a good illustration no, to describe our assumptions later on when we discuss the internal manifestations of film. Any questions so far? Questions? None? Okay. So for us to be able to understand culture better, I'll use no, one of the popular theories about culture. Have you taken your cinematic criticism in this course or film crit? Because in film cult, we'll be talking about theories no, in some lessons. Wala pa, not yet. Okay, so uh, we'll use a cultural iceberg theory by Edward T. Hall, but this is not a film theory. No, uh, I'll just use this for you to be able to understand culture better. Okay? So Edward T. Hall compares culture to an iceberg, wherein no, a lot of its aspects or its elements or its manifestations is found below water, which means a lot of what we associate with culture no, is not observable or not visible to us. Okay? So what is on top of the water is what we can see, what we can hear. No, the language is something that we can hear, and what we can taste. No, in reference to food. Okay, so we're not just talking about elements that we see or manifestations. No, that we see, but we'll also talk about uh, elements that we hear and elements that we taste. No when we pertain to the explicit okay so uh, i got some of the illustrations no uh, from the internet so you have the surface culture or what we call primarily in our awareness or what we describe as primarily in our awareness and some of the examples are food flags festivals no fine arts literature uh, music something that we in here folk dance uh, language games performances arts and crafts and if you you can see your screen no a lot of what we associate with culture are below water no we'll only learn more about them when we stay longer in a particular place so on top of the iceberg or on top of the water no, is what we can observe, no, at least in terms of culture. Uh, for your screenwriting, no, this is what you call the action of your characters. Okay? So you can observe uh, the elements of culture which are above water or the upper part of the iceberg no, through the doing part. Okay? But below that iceberg, or below water, no, as part, still part of the iceberg, is a bigger part, which is the thinking and feeling. So if you're going to relate it to your screenwriting subject, are you taking your 
uh, film right right now or you're done with film right ah uh, you're done with okay so hindi pa okay so some are taking film right and some are done no with film right so as part of a characterization in screenwriting you'll learn that only 10 to 15 percent of your character traits no are provided in your screenplay no i'm now relating to what we've been discussing in culture no to your film subjects or to your course as a film student okay so uh you'll also learn that 70 percent no you don't need them at all in your screenplay okay uh you'll only learn about it as you get to know more about the character or as you go deeper into the film story okay so similarly in culture no as we stay longer in a particular place which is alien to us okay we'll learn more about their culture okay through the non-observable or implicit no na manifestations of culture so yung explicit or what is observable to us no some examples are language arts manners dress religion food institutions rituals customs traditions i remember when i was watching uh, little miss philippines before if you're familiar with little miss philippines it's a segment in it bulaga no the noon time program uh wherein uh they have uh children no as contestants in a sort of a beauty pageant talent contest okay i noticed that if contestants came from visayas no uh they don't speak po or opo okay which is more familiar to the tagalogs now for when this uh understanding po and opo is our sign of respect no sir, via language sir i have been here for five years already ah, so you're familiar with po and opo okay so they use po and opo as in the tagalogs they use po and opo as a sign of respect no in terms of language but i noticed that uh when they the noontime program has uh contestants coming from the visayas no they don't speak po and opo especially in the question and answer portion no and when i was younger i look at them as disrespectful so when if you're watching a talent contest no, or if you're watching a beauty pageant you have your own set of choices no? and then i would be surprised if some of the contestants in coming from the uh Visayan group of islands or Visay Visayas no would end up in the top 10 kasi yun nga i have my uh, preconception no a preconceived notion na if you don't speak po and opo if you don't include po and opo in your language or in your in your answers in the q and a portion you're being disrespectful to the host no uh, and i was used to refer to household help no or maids yun parang household help no but in reality indai is actually a term of endearment no to refer to younger siblings in basaya okay mano and mana kuya and ate okay so parang yun so yeah, we'll talk about uh, cultural relativism, ethnocentrism, and cultural appropriation next month. No? After discussing, ito yung mga explicit manifestations of culture. Okay. So yun then when you visit uh, fiestas, no, the first time I visited Cebu, it's part of the Sunulog Festival. No, I joined a Sunulog film competition because I was trying to transition from being a journalist to being a filmmaker after attending Ricky Lee's uh, script writing class. No? While covering the Sinulog, we learned about the dance. Kasi nga background ko is uh, being a journalist, I research about 
the forward backward dance of the sinulog. But when I attended other festivals, I realized that I can also see the same groups performing. No? Uh, same groups performing in Kalibo, Aklan as part of Ati Atihan, in Iloilo as part of Dinagyan, and even same groups in uh, in Manila no? as part of Aliwan Festival. But I also learned about the food of the Cebuanos. No? Kasi uh, most stores at night would sell puso. No? It's rice wrapped in banana leaves, no? parang forming a, a sphere, no? a circle. And then I also learned na if I ordered, uh, I remember during the first night, we went to Abuhan Dos. No? It's a popular restaurant in Cebu along Osmeña. Coconut leaves pala yun. Okay? Coconut leaves. Yun, hindi pa ako. <laughs> Coconut leaves ka pala, hindi banana leaves. Okay? So we went to Abuhan Dos uh, along Osmeña Circle and I looked at the menu no? and I ordered uh, pochero. Okay? Pochero. So if you're from Manila, and if you're familiar with pochero, no? Pochero for Tagalogs ay parang afritada, no? It's uh, food, no, in red sauce. Okay? And I was surprised when the waiter served pochero. Are you familiar with pochero in Visayas? What I got instead of pochero na red sauce is pochero na singa tinan natin chat familiar ba sa pochero sa bisayas pochero for them is actually bulalo ay are you familiar with bulalo hindi naman red sauce yung ano di ba bulalo okay so yun so and then when i heard pila Pila for the Tagalogs is line. Okay? So yung uh, yung bulalo is ano, di ba? Parang soup, no? Uh, beef. Okay? So yun yung yung bulalo. Okay? So in the Tagalogs it's bulalo, in Visaya or at least in Cebu, it's pochero. Pochero in the Tagalogs is similar to afritada or mechado, no, in red sauce. Okay? And then in the language, when I heard pila, I thought they were referring to line. Okay? Kasi in Tagalog, pila is, taga, is, is linya. Pila is line. Or what you see when you enter the School of Design and Arts building. Okay? But in the Cebuanos, pila is how much? Tama? Pila. Pila is magkano? Okay? Pila is how much? Okay? So notice yung ano yung 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 difference no dun na lang sa sa food and even the language okay and then yung snow no let's go back to snow snow is not uh local no to the Philippines so we don't have a local term for snow we need to borrow something from the spanish from the Spaniards, no? And this is what we call nieve. Diba? So nieve is not actually Tagalog or it's not even uh, part of any local language in the Philippines. Okay? But we use nieve. And nieve is from the Spaniards. Okay? Because we don't have snow in the Philippines. But if we're going to refer to rice, no? Bigas. Okay? We have a term for cook rice, no? So it's kanin, okay? And then yung uncooked rice, it's bigas, okay? And then uh, burnt rice is tutong, no? And then fried rice is sinangag, and cold rice is bahaw. Okay? But when you go to other countries na rice is not common in their place, no, they only refer to rice as rice. 
Is it clear? So parang yung difference niya, no? So if it's something that is common, no, to us, we have more terms to refer to it. Parang ang yung tarsier, di ba? Uh, Tagalogs, we thought tarsier is the same, no, in the foreign language and in the local language, no. But as Joseph mentioned before, it's magam, no, in in Bohol. Okay. Baka in some other areas of Bohol, they have other terms no, to describe tarsier. Okay. So these are what we call the explicit manifestations of culture. So they are observable. Uh, they're not just something that we see. They're also something that we can hear. No? As in the case of music. A language, greetings, it's also something that we can taste, as in the case of food. No? Another example nga pala is sisig no? in Pampanga. Kasi my friend gets mad whenever he sees sisig with egg. Okay? Kasi in Pampanga, they don't serve, at least no, yung, yung original na version of sisig, they don't serve sisig with egg. Okay? Parang fusion na lang siya. In uh, Metro Manila, if ever we order sisig, no, we always end up no with food na may egg. Okay. And then what connects your explicit or what is on top of the water, no, the part of the iceberg, to what's below the water or what we call the implicit manifestations of culture is language. Okay, that's why uh, people keep on promoting no language. Because whenever a particular language dies, I remember they were calling for, ano eh, uh, for calls. Uh, they were calling for actions, no, to to make Kapampangan alive. Parang parang they're not using their language anymore. So some filmmakers no initiated uh, the use of their language no in their films for the language to still be alive no because uh, most films shot in Pampanga then no parang 20 or 10 years ago were uh, shot using Tagalog no so they're worried na kapag uh, if your language dies, along with it comes the death of culture. Okay? So what connects your explicit and implicit manifestations of culture is the language. So what are implicit manifestations of culture? As you stay longer in a place, as you go uh, deeper no, and be familiarized or more familiar with with one's culture, you'll get to know more about their concepts of time, concepts of justice, spiritual beliefs, no decision making models, respect for authority, worldview, religion, and the like. No, uh, so in general, it's beliefs, ideals, norms, concepts, and roles. No, beliefs is what we consider as true. No? But it's not just related to religion because belief can also be something uh, that we believe in regardless of whether it's true or not. No? Case in point, yung mga ano natin, uh, myths and legends. No? Ideas is associated are associated to what we dream of. Norms are associated to what we consider as acceptable or as, quote-unquote, normal in our society. And then we also uh, have rules. No? Uh, for example, in India, they have the caste, caste system bayon, or caste, caste system. No? I'm not sure it, if it was abolished. Because in the caste system, no, you have five levels, and there, there's also another uh, 
classless no na, na society aside from the five different groups in the society they have a classless no na classless members of the society okay so these roles actually uh, give rise no to power and control no uh, will also associate yung yung mga social constructs if you're a believer in feminism no that yung specific colors no are assigned to uh genders no parang if you're wearing blue is just for boys or for men and if you're wearing red is just for uh girls or for women no so laura mulvey in her feminist theory uh Define this as social contracts, as social constructs. No, it's just constructed by our society, no, as a means of control. And now that we're in, uh, in our modern society, no, some of those roles have been debunked. But we'll see, no, some of our friends still believing that women should just be, uh, limited to work at home, no, or to being a housewife. No, I saw one of my students uh, posting it on her Facebook account because it's something associated with her religion. No, parang part of her religion yon. There are also some religions wherein women are forbidden to cut their hair. Okay? So, yung mga ganun, no, uh, we can surmise that uh some aspects of our culture are connected no, to our religion or to what we believe in so again beliefs do not just refer to uh, christianity uh muslim uh catholics no if you would uh zero in more no born again christians protestant the like but if you're familiar with Venn diagram, no, it's also uh, associated with uh, things that are true, things you know, and things that you believe in. Not all things that we believe in are true. No, if you look at this Venn diagram, if you're still familiar with Venn diagram uh, from from your algebra, okay. And then uh, if we refer to roles, no, some societies would. Uh, would restrict some jobs no, to women and some jobs to men or even some clothes to women and some clothes to men. Okay? But later on, if you discuss no, your feminist theory or even the queer theory no, sa LGBT studies, uh, you will be made to believe that they're actually uh, just a construct of our society as a means of control okay of course deeper the iceberg no parang yung pinakailalim uh, people still believe in them uh, regardless of whether they are true or not because they have been part of their culture for a long time now so these are what we call myths no or legends okay so we have uh, different myths no? uh, related to associated with different provinces. Okay? So, of course, in the Philippines, we have lower mythology. We have the Aswang. We have Capre. No? We have Duende. We have Tianak. We have Manananggal. But when you go to other provinces, no? they have Batibat, a fat lady. Okay? So, parang yung Batibat uh, kills her victim it's a fat lady rather than a fat man no so, uh, the batibat as a member of a philippine lower mythology kills the victim by sitting on his or her body no kasi nga fat lady siya okay but with our concepts of fat shaming baka hindi nakatanggap tanggap no we won't be able to, we won't find batibats acceptable anymore okay but it's interesting to study them Kasi if you're familiar with them and you make it as part of your film, no, it's like you're giving your 
uh, identity no you're showing your cultural identity no through your films okay so yung implicit or the non observable uh, elements or manifestations of our culture give birth to our values or what we consider as important in our lives no uh, some of you may have decided to skip no this class because of other important matters or because of uh, problems in internet connection no but if we refer to our physical classes if ever you would skip class no it means you value something more than attending your class okay so yun yung values desires pertain to what we really want no even if it's not possible in our life okay yung assumptions what we discussed earlier no the uh, six blind men of hindustan okay so it's relative uh according to where they are no with respect to the elephant or if you're going to apply it no it's relative to where we are no or where we uh where we were born no case in point ngayon the use of the term inday no inday in the tagalog is different from inday in the visayan region okay and then attitudes and behaviors and tastes are not just limited to food tastes are also limited to what we consider as beautiful no case in point yung what we discussed during the first meeting yung high culture versus low culture okay so if we'll tackle no some of the issues that we have confronted during the past few weeks now maybe you're familiar with the dasera case with team yap's birthday celebration in baguio and ano ba ba yung something related to culture um ano ah, ba sige doon na muna tayo sa dasera case no so in the dasera case uh, a lot of uh, posts no uh, coming from the woke culture um uh, criticize no the media's um presentation or prioritizing no the the Sera case in their coverage rather than similar cases no but in this case involving uh poor members of our community no yung magamang na barrel uh the vendor no uh, in paranyake ba yun where his wares were confiscated by the police and one cop even kicked him on his head no so media would prioritize covering the dasera case rather than those small cases no uh, it also boils down to the target audience and it also boils down to who owns the media no so since uh, media companies are owned by big businesses take note of how we uh, tackle traffic no in the philippines uh, most solutions favor those with cars rather than the commuters so we now have another skyway uh, which makes traveling easier from uh, balintawak to to the south no so yun nga because uh, media companies are owned by big businessmen and most uh, majority of the audience no uh have television sets have radio equipment no and uh, they're more privileged no and of course they're richer no rather than their poor counterparts uh yung the coverage tends to favor the upper members of our society so yung culture no uh there are some aspects of it that we can control no case in point nga yung uh, the use of the snow no uh, we have we don't have a 
uh, local equivalent for snow because we don't have snow in the Philippines. In China, Wendy, how do you refer to snow? That's why we're using nieve, no? It's called xue. So you have a local equivalent for snow because you have snow in China. Okay. Yes, because there are snows in China. And in different places in China, baka they have different ano, terms for snow. Okay. Like um, what we have I different think, terms for rice. I think not really because uh because because throughout the history, China has been uh, combined it together and then separated and then combined it together. It's not like Philippines, which are all on the island. It's hard for you guys ah, to okay. communicate between each island. But for China, it's it's a big land and it's easy to transport them. And so culture are just converging with each other and um, it's just becoming one. So just just like for rice i mean like for china we also we also plant rice and cook rice uh throughout the history but then we only have one term for rice but ah, for for uh for the for the things that are coming from western like for example tomatoes or watermelons those kind of things have different ways to call it because when it first arrived to it depends on where does it first arrive uh in the land because during that time um uh this thing is like fast forwarding so it's not able to communicate with with each other yet which a uh, tomato have two different ways to call it okay so thanks wendy so here no uh yung use of snow we can also associate it with the geography no in the case of china since it's connected no uh, they're connected. Uh, it's a big landmass as compared to the Philippines, which is a group of islands or which is an archipelago. Now we have different terms no, uh, to describe a particular product, in this case, rice. Okay. So in other provinces, how do you call bigas or how do you call kanin? But you have bigas for or even palay. If it's not, uh, if it's just recently gathered no, from the field, and then uh, you have bigas or process palay, and then you have uh, kanin no, for cooked rice. And it also, we also refer to cooked rice in different terms uh, with regards to how we cook it. No? So it can be uh, sinaing, it can be sinangag, or if it's cold rice, it's bahaw. Okay. Uh, there are some things which are beyond our control. That's why uh, culture keeps on changing. No, some of them are listed here. No, yung what is uh, observable to us are the climate and geography. No, so uh, the weather, uh, the seasons in the country or in a province, and even uh, its location. Okay. And uh, below it, no, yung economics, that's why we also associate culture with social class. No? And we'll also discuss technological determinism. Maybe if you have seen uh, Anino, no, you're wondering what Ronnie Lazarus' job is, or at least the, ca the, the job of the main character. Okay. If you're not familiar with what he's holding, or if his job is not common anymore because of uh, improvements no, in our technology. Now that we all have cameras through our cell phone, no, yung job as a photographer in, in parks or even in churches are not common anymore. But if you've been to Rizal Park, no, there are still photographers offering their wares in the park. But people would rather take selfies using their cell phone. No, you just uh, get the services of the photographers if you would like it to be you know, personalized or with the design you know, uh, associated with the place. 
parang meron siyang frame no, that that you've been to Rizal Park or you've been to other tourist attractions in the Philippines. Of course, uh, culture is also affected by the demographics, the population. No? Uh, the age, no, yung majority of yung population are either young or old, no? or uh, if it's a mixture no, of different nationalities, of different cultures. Okay? So when I visited Cebu, no, I noticed that a lot of Koreans no, go to Cebu because they would like to learn uh, the local language or uh, also learn uh, English. And at the same time, it's cheaper not to learn uh, English language in Cebu rather than learn it in Manila. And of course, you have bitches. No? Bitches, not, <laughs> not bitches with an IT. No? Uh, Bitches as a destination, no, for uh, summer destinations, no, and uh, but if you've been to Korea, uh, they would rather promote uh, man-made attractions, no, connected to their soap operas and television shows. Okay, that's why you have uh, tourist attractions connected to Jewel in the Palace or even locations connected to start up you know, the series and the like but in the philippines we would rather promote no our uh natural no not tourist attractions because we have them okay questions sir wendy because you said at the beginning that not uh we cannot judge a culture if it's good or bad. Um, but for, for, for my belief that there are really some of the culture are just bad. Okay, so we would consider that because uh, we're more, uh, we have studied more no, than them or if our education is more westernized, no, we tend to look at them from a western point of view. Okay, so case in point, it will look at some African tribes and uh, will consider yung, yung process nila of circumcising tama ba? women. No? So, yung female circumcision, okay? we'll look at it as something bad. Okay? But from which point? We're looking at it from the point of uh, the richer countries. That's why if we look at this illustration, no, some aspects of culture we can control. Diba? Uh, in this case, economics okay? or technology. Or uh, if they weren't exposed, no? that uh, it's something unethical or something unhealthy to do, they will still consider it as something which is good no? for, for women. Pero yun nga, if science would found out, kasi not everything that we believe in are true. No? There are things we know, there are things that are true, and things that we believe in. At least in my case, because my background is being a journalist and being a graduate of a science high school, I don't easily believe in uh, in myths and even those things which I won't find any proof of. Okay, so like for example, if my government would recommend that we clean our face masks, or even the president would recommend that we clean our face masks with gasoline and I already learned from science that it's unhealthy, then I won't follow it. Okay? But if you have heard news of in Cebu, no, of leaders uh, promoting tuob or using ano ba yun? warm bath or exposure to heat to cure COVID-19, no? and uh, it's, there's no scientific basis for that, then I won't believe it. 
Okay, so I don't easily share no something which I find uh, offensive or something which I find that I can agree on on Facebook kasi it all boils down to me be a, having a background in journalism since grade 4 up to now. Okay, so imagine since 10 years old as doing journalism no through school publications no uh, 3 years in elementary from grade 4 to grade 6 uh, 4 years in high school that's your grade 7 to grade 10 no grade uh, first year high school to fourth year high school and then as I was also part of the campus publication in college no so bef and I was writing news rather than writing feature stories so for me to be able to report something if someone tells me it's raining outside I would not report it I need to go outside to check if it's raining so because that's my background okay so we have different backgrounds so if you're more into uh, for example anime or more into uh, gaming no you have different terms okay which I'm not familiar with. I don't know how you earn no, from live streaming games. Okay? I don't know how Laika works. Okay? The new technology. Okay? I don't do TikTok. Okay? But it's part of your culture. So I need to learn that. So I need to learn, for example, terms like AFK. Okay? Or LOL, I thought it was ano, uh, it was ulul, okay, which is an offensive term before, no, but it's actually laugh out loud. And then you have AFK, which is away from keyboard, no, or uh, IKR, I know right, or SKL, share ko lang, okay, because I have exposure to students, I know these terms, but when I talk to friends of my age, they don't know these terms. But we don't use them in our everyday dialogue. You don't say SKL, diba? You just post it on your social media. Okay? So if you're going to put it as a dialogue in your screenplay later on, no, it's not believable. Because you don't say it. Okay? You type it on your key using your keyboard on your social media. Diba? But you use Sanaol or you use Naol. Okay, to pertain that uh, I hope everyone has the same opportunity or or has the same uh, condition. Okay, especially if it's something that we envy. 